where a uh, zinc battery, you have, you have a uh, lot more availability of raw materials, you have a uh, higher safety factor, there's very low risk of a thermal runway, and you have much higher operability in wide temperature range. In laboratory for laboratories across China and Singapore, a new kind of battery is quietly rewriting the rules of energy storage. It's a zinc-based organic polymer battery, and what it has just achieved is nothing short of astonishing. During recent testing, this battery endured 40,000 charge and discharge cycles before dropping below 70% capacity. That's the kind of endurance equivalent to about 12.4 million miles, or roughly 20 million kilometers, if translated into the driving distance of an electric vehicle. Numbers like that almost sound exaggerated, but they come from real experimental results. The researchers themselves admit that they do not even know the true upper limit of this battery's lifespan, because after those 40,000 cycles, it still retained 93% of its original capacity. The data suggests that it might last not just decades, but perhaps a century or more under ideal conditions. That's long enough to outlive even the next generation of users. The innovation comes from a team working at the Nanjing University of Posts and Telecommunications, the National University of Singapore, and the Suzhou Institute of Nanotech and Nanobionics, along with partners from A Asterisk Star, Singapore's leading research agency. Together, these institutions have engineered a new battery architecture that fundamentally changes what was thought possible for organic and zinc-based systems. Their creation combines an aqueous zinc anode with an advanced three-dimensional polymer framework that serves as the organic cathode. It's officially called a 3D polymer-based zinc organic battery, and it represents a major step towards sustainable, non-toxic, and long-lived energy storage. Organic batteries have always been considered the holy grail of clean energy. They promise a way to avoid the heavy metals, such as lithium, cobalt, and nickel, that are expensive, difficult to mine, and often harmful to the environment. Instead, organic batteries rely on carbon-based compounds that are lighter, recyclable, and far easier to produce. Yet, despite decades of research, organic batteries have always struggled with one key issue. They simply didn't last. Their electrodes dissolved in electrolytes, their conductivity lagged behind, and their power output was too weak to compete with lithium-ion systems. Energy density was another major limitation. Most organic batteries store far less energy per kilogram than lithium batteries could, making them impractical for real-world use. This new design, however, breaks all these barriers. The team's zinc organic polymer battery maintains an energy density of around 192.5 watt-hours per kilogram, which is close to the performance of modern lithium iron phosphate, LFP, or even some nickel-manganese cobalt, NMC chemistries. For comparison, the BYD Blade battery, a benchmark in commercial electric vehicles, offers about 165 watt -ke -kwaik. That means this organic battery not only survives tens of thousands of cycles, but also packs enough energy to be genuinely useful. The secret lies in the material known as HAT-TP, short for hexaazotrophenylene tryptosine polymer. It's created by linking two complex organic molecules, hexaazotrophenylene, HAT-CN, and hexaaminotryptosine, J NH2. The researchers synthesized these into a porous 3D polymer framework. This framework prevents the cathode material from dissolving into the aqueous electrolyte, a problem that has historically destroyed organic electrodes within a few hundred cycles. The new structure also increases the number of electroactive sites, allowing for faster ion movement and better conductivity. The result is a stable, powerful, and extremely durable battery material. Electrochemical testing revealed that the battery operates with an initial discharge voltage of 1.32 volts and a midpoint voltage of 1.17 volts, both higher than those of typical organic cathodes. Even after tens of thousands of full charge-discharge cycles, the voltage and capacity remain remarkably consistent. Using advanced simulations and ex situ analyses, the researchers discovered that the battery's reaction mechanism involves a reversible co-insertion of zinc and hydrogen ions, enabling a five-electron transfer process during each cycle. 
This mechanism gives the material its high redox activity and exceptional stability, something almost unheard of in previous organic battery systems. The implications of this discovery are vast. With its record-breaking cycle life, high energy density, and safe, recyclable chemistry, the zinc organic battery could revolutionize how energy is stored for large-scale applications. It offers a path to safer, greener grid storage systems, exactly what the renewable energy sector needs as solar and wind power expand globally. Traditional lithium-based batteries are effective but expensive, require careful temperature control, and rely on geopolitically sensitive metals. Zinc, on the other hand, is abundant, inexpensive, and non-flammable. When combined with organic materials that can be manufactured from renewable feedstocks, the environmental impact drops dramatically. Currently, this technology has not been tested in electric vehicles. The current tests were conducted under controlled laboratory conditions, and the cells used were small prototypes. Still, the results show potential that surpasses anything previously reported for aqueous or organic batteries. Putting such a battery into an electric car might even be unnecessary. No driver would ever reach the equivalent of 12 million miles in a lifetime. Instead, the most logical application is stationary energy storage, systems that store excess power from solar panels, wind farms, or microgrids, and release it when needed. These systems cycle constantly, sometimes multiple times per day, which makes lifespan far more important than energy density. Imagine a power grid supported by batteries that can last a century with minimal degradation. That would mean almost no need for replacement, recycling, or new resource extraction for generations. Such longevity would dramatically reduce both cost and waste, turning renewable energy into a true long-term solution. For homeowners with solar panels, it could mean installing a storage battery once and never having to replace it again. For data centers, it could mean reliable, maintenance-free power buffering. For developing regions, it could enable decentralized microgrids that deliver electricity sustainably for decades, even when compared to the latest sodium ion batteries, which have drawn much attention for their low cost and good cycle life, the zinc organic battery stands out. Sodium batteries already outperform lithium in longevity, with some prototypes reaching several million kilometers of equivalent use before significant degradation. But the 40 000 cycle mark achieved here, while retaining more than 93% capacity, is in another league entirely. If scaled, this system could theoretically run through tens of millions of cycles with moderate capacity fade. In practice, that would make it virtually immortal from a human perspective. The safety aspect also deserves attention. Because the electrolyte is aqueous, there's no risk of thermal runaway, explosion, or fire issues that continue to plague lithium-based cells. This makes zinc organic batteries ideal for dense urban environments, large buildings, and remote installations. Their recyclability adds another advantage. Both zinc and the organic compounds used can be recovered and reused with relatively simple chemical processes, creating a truly circular energy storage system. To put this progress in perspective, lithium-ion technology, first commercialized in the early 1990s, typically endures between 1,000 and 3,000 full cycles before reaching 80% capacity. Even modern LFP cells rarely exceed 10,000 cycles. Hitting 40,000 cycles while maintaining above 90% retention is beyond anything on the commercial market today. It's no exaggeration to call this the longest lasting rechargeable battery ever recorded. Of course, challenges remain before the zinc organic polymer battery moves from the laboratory to real world deployment. Scaling 3D polymer synthesis must be cost effective. Manufacturing large electrodes without losing structural integrity will require engineering innovation. Researchers must also optimize electrolyte composition to ensure consistent performance in larger cells. But the foundations have been laid, and if these issues are addressed, business impact could be transformative. In broader terms, this breakthrough adds another major contender to the growing list of next-generation energy storage technologies. Alongside solid-state, sodium-ion, and lithium-ion phosphate, LFP systems, zinc-organic batteries could define the next era of power storage. 
Each technology has its strengths. Lithium offers high energy density for vehicles. Sodium promises low cost. Solid state brings safety and compactness. And zinc organic adds unmatched durability and environmental friendliness. The future may not belong to just one chemistry, but rather to a combination optimized for specific roles. Yet among these, zinc organic batteries are currently the ones rewriting scientific records. It's fascinating to consider what this means for global energy strategy. If large-scale production becomes feasible, renewable power plants could operate independently from fossil backup, storing daily energy with minimal loss for decades. Entire countries could reduce dependence on lithium supply chains. The world's transition to clean energy could accelerate faster than anyone anticipated. So while sodium batteries may still represent an important bridge toward post-lithium technology, the 3D polymer zinc organic battery now stands as a genuine alternative, one that could last longer than anything built before. It combines the best features of sustainability, safety, and durability, pointing toward a future where batteries no longer need frequent replacement. Instead of worrying about how long a battery will last, humanity may soon start asking, what will we do with all the extra time and energy once it never dies?